Welcome to Draw My Story. And today we're drawing the story of coronavirus. That's right, the name which has caused a massive wave of fear all around the world. There's been tons of headlines with WHO declaring a global health emergency, the CDC declares a national emergency in the United States. So what is the virus? Where did it come from? How does it transmit and how to prevent it? Let's know in this video. In December 2019, there were a few pneumonia cases registered in China who had been associated with seafood and live animal market in the city of Wuhan, which also sells wild animals. And from investigation, it was found that it has been caused by a previously unknown virus, now named as coronavirus. So what exactly are these viruses? Coronaviruses are a family of viruses that cause illness starting from common cold to more severe diseases like SARS, first identified in China, and Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, MERS, first identified in Saudi Arabia. But the novel coronavirus is new, which had not been identified in humans previously until now. Coronaviruses consist of a core of genetic material surrounded by an envelope with protein spikes which look like a crown and in Latin crown is called corona and that's how this virus got its name so where did this virus come from these viruses normally found in animal species like camels cattle cats and bats but they can come to human due to mutations or due to increased contact between animals and humans for example SARS have been transmitted from civet cats to humans while MERS transmitted from a type of camels to humans but the 2019 novel coronavirus's origin is not known yet and once someone is infected it can spread like any type of common cold and flu virus from person to person among close contacts mainly when an infected person coughs or sneezes it also spreads when touching things which is already contaminated with the virus by an infected person the symptoms of coronaviruses are similar to any other upper respiratory infection like runny nose coughing sore throat and fever its symptoms ranges from mild to severe when the case is mild there could be fever shortness of breath or cough but if the situation gets worse it can lead to pneumonia kidney failure and even death more than 31,000 people have been infected with the virus so far the vast majority of them in China and the death toll has risen to 638 so how could it be treated there's currently no treatment for coronavirus infection and there's no vaccine as well the vaccines are in development stage the only thing which can be done is supportive care which means people who are admitted to hospital they may get support for their lungs and other organs as well as fluids recovery will depend on the strength of their immune system coronavirus is a major threat to people who have a very weak immune system like elderly people young children and someone who's already having health issues many of those who have died because of this virus were already in poor health so the more stronger your immune system is the less it will affect you now how can we prevent ourselves from getting affected by this coronavirus we should cover our mouth while coughing or sneezing with a tissue we should avoid close contact with people who are sick also we should wash our hands often and avoid touching our mouth nose or eyes and most often should use a mask symptoms of a coronavirus usually go away on their own but if symptoms feel worse then you should visit a doctor immediately so should we be panicking by this we should not be panicking but should be alert because we don't know enough about this virus yet and in fact influenza virus has caused more deaths only in the United States alone compared to what coronavirus has done worldwide right now the world is trying to do everything it can to stop this virus from spreading by limiting travel and isolating the ones who are infected and meanwhile we should also take all measures from our end to prevent it and hope that this ends soon and that was today's story guys about coronavirus Comment and let me know how did you like it and subscribe to my channel guys if you want to see more draw my story videos like this one till then bye